Some tribal hunters are coming under fire for unethical hunting practices during a bison hunt near Gardner. MTN's Judy Slate met with a fifth generation landowner in the Gardner area who wants to see changes to the tribal hunt. This is my great great grandpa. Bill Hoppy is the fifth generation to live on this land. And over here to your left is, is Deckard Flats. The Hoppies have 40 acres up here, halfway between Jardine and Gardner. The property looks over Yellowstone National Park. It's also right off of the road from where tribal hunters come to look for bison and elk. Native American come walking up the road, put a shell in his barrel, and I said, are you going to shoot that elk? And he said, yes. And I said, please. I begged the guy. Hoppy is talking about an incident last weekend. This six-point bull elk who's been hanging around his property was shot and killed by a Nez Perce hunter. He just threw his gun up and shot him three times. Two smaller elk were taken moments later. The tribes are here to hunt bison, part of their treaty rights. The understanding is they can shoot other wildlife, including elk, if there are no bison. This year, the bison are plentiful. In fact, hunters have taken more than 400 bison this season. The Nez Perce have also killed upwards of 30 elk. Hoppy is looking to next year. Maybe there's not many buffalo coming out. Maybe there's no buffalo coming out. Does that mean that the Nez Perce tribe can come here and kill all the elk that they want? Fish, Wildlife and Parks says they have no jurisdiction over the tribal hunt and that they've asked the Nez Perce to stop hunting elk. The agency has already restricted the elk hunt in this region because numbers are down. They get different rights, more liberal rights, more that they can, some of them think they can kill anything when they want, as many as they want, whenever they want. Hoppy is calling on the governor to help, asking that tribal hunters be required to follow state hunting laws and hunt during the designated hunting season. After his experience with hunters last weekend... My wife and I talked Saturday about putting this place up for sale and leaving. And that's... it's hard. Hoppy probably won't sell, at least for now, keeping a watchful eye on this land, hoping one day all hunters will be treated the same. If we don't, we're going to end up with nothing. We're going to end up, we'll lose it all. Outside Gardner, Judy Slate, MTN News. And Judy tells us so far this winter, the Park Service has shipped 470 bison to slaughter. 436 have been killed by state and tribal hunters. Another 18 bison were wounded and then killed.